What's going on, Facebook? How are all my Facebook friends doing? Look at this. I'm repping my buddy's shirt today. This shirt is so, like, man, the material is, like, crazy. So, listen to this. I'm eating some taffy. I apologize. But look at this. See that? That is an entire box of taffy that my good friend, what's up Jason Holt? My good friend, Wendy Four. We've never met face to face. She's just an amazing person. So she remembered from a few years ago, I did a, I did a, a live. Hey, Nikki Ald, how are you? You guys look like you had a lot of fun out there in Vegas. So um, she did a, um, <laughs> those are bad for you. No, they're not, dude. That's a myth. Don't buy that. Come on, man. What's up, Dan? What's going on? Ivan. Jay Nolan, my brother, how you doing? So listen, Wendy, thank you. Thank you, brother, I appreciate you, Jay, you're awesome. So Wendy went to Florida. She went to Florida and she brought me, or she sent this to me. She sent me a whole box of taffy. And I am grateful. <laughs> what's my name today? I What's up, Stephen Fout? So listen. Oh, but the, oh, they are so good, man. And they're soft. Oh, so good. What's up, Brad Smolinski? How you doing, man? So listen, I am a taffy addict, and I haven't had any in a minute. What's up, Stephen? What it is? Come on, man. Um, so I want to talk about, I saw a little bit of um, Hank Norman's speech from the 10X Growth Conference. If you're not following Hank, Hey, Laura, how are you? So, sorry, I'm eating taffy. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't be eating taffy and trying to live stream. Mmm. Hank is incredible. And he talks about, you know, embracing your weaknesses, embracing that, that, that stuff that's messed up. You know, that's why I'm not afraid. I am not, I have zero fear zero fear when it comes to talking about, hey man, I'm I'm a recovered alcoholic. You know, I, when I was in Vegas, there were some people, when I was living out there, there were some people in my my circle that, that you know, kept trying to get me to drink. Get, oh, come on, you want, you know you want to drink. Nah, man, I'm, I, I'm good. I've spilled more of that shit than you've drank in your life, all right? So, um, trust me, I'm good. I don't need to have a drink, but thank you very much. So like, you know, that's one of the things with me is I, I, you know, I, man, I used to drink. I mean, I used to drink a lot to where I'd forget what planet I was on. I would wake up in the front yard holding onto the grass just so I didn't fall off the earth every day. It wasn't just once in a while. Tiffany, hey, how are you? West Beachy, West Beachy's on. So listen, like you gotta, you gotta, I break out too, man. I break out in handcuffs. So like, you know, you gotta, you can't be afraid, man. You know, people are walking around in this world trying to act like, what's up, Wes? How you doing, bro? Good to see you, man. Um, You know, like, People are walking around in this world trying to act like everything is perfect, man. And everything's not always perfect. 
Richie, how are you, brother? Good to see you. Glenn Imes. Hey, Rebecca Chernick. There's Becky Chernick. She was just live a little bit ago. So, like, look, you know, I and I'm I'm I think that the the value of being being transparent is is huge because like you know, you can only hide your BS for so long. You you can only Sean Allen, how you doing, bro? Eric Cornelius, I'm dropping your name for sure. Jason D, my brother, how you doing? Come on, man. So so look, like you know, you gotta, you gotta take take your your you know your weaknesses. Jason Howland, how are you? So so you gotta take. Um, <laughs> you have a great mess. <laughs> See, dude, stop. Like, I'm sorry. He said, you have a great message. Swipe left to turn the comments off. No, man. I, I, I Listen, I want to I wanna engage with people. That's one of the biggest mistakes I see people that are live streaming make is they don't engage with their audience. They don't say hi to Dan Kelleher because they, you don't mean anything to that person. You know, they just want to talk about themselves. And I'm not here just to talk about myself. I did that for the first 34 years of my life. Okay, hold it. No, I was, um, I was, it was longer than that. Ba bad English due to growing up on Amish on my part. Dude, come on, man. Hey, Shelly Turner, how are you? There's a wonderful woman right there, y'all. She is amazing. So, so listen, you know, like being transparent being transparent is so important. Trying to hide who you really are from the world and put on a facade and all that bullshit. Like, pardon my language. If that offends you, I'm sorry. I'm not really because it doesn't offend me. So it doesn't really matter. But, you know, like be transparent with people, man. Like I'm admitting publicly right now, I'm admitting that I have a taffy addiction, okay? And my friend Wendy knew that. So they, her and her husband and family went to Florida on a special mission. They only went down there so they could get me some taffy and then she sent that to me. Talk about going to any length to hook a brother up. That is what it's all about. So listen, I'm, I'm kidding, you know. I'm a friend of Jerry Acuff and he told me to connect with you. Dude, thank you, Al. I appreciate that. Jerry is amazing. I mean, I freaking love that man. I, that Honestly, I, when I saw Jerry in a, a studio with a company that I used to be affiliated with, um, I, I, I saw Jerry in that studio um, and I saw the man, you wanna talk about transparency. You know, somebody asked him, you know, who, about his mentors and what they meant to him. And, 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 and the man really genuinely in his heart of hearts, you could tell it was real as the day is long. Like he was like so transparent about it. There he is. There's Jerry. Jerry, how you doing? And, and when I saw him, when I saw, when I saw Jerry, start talking about his, 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 um, mentors. Leilani. Hey, I literally, the man literally like he didn't ball his eyes out. He started tearing up. He choked up. He couldn't get it all out right away because it, it meant so much to him, the people that helped him get. And there were only a couple of people that he mentioned. And, and I, I'll never forget that moment. I, I watched a, a, a man, much wiser than me sit there and and you know I, I've always been since I got sober 15 and a half years ago um, I, I I learned back then and I don't know that I learned you know there's this thing in AA they say that you know there's supposed to be this anonymity or whatever and like I don't call out people I know in AA so I'm I'm anonymous but look I I I, I got sober by the grace of God and and working my butt off to to stay sober. And so and I saw somebody put something, I think it was Dan said something. Um 
I, Dan said something about renting Lamborghinis and stuff. And, you know, there's all kinds of people that do that stuff. I mean, I live, I've, I'm transparent. I live in a rented house. It's a very, very, very nice rented house, but it's rented right now. It's where I am in life. You know, I, I took a big chance, lost a lot of money and time and, and came back to Ohio and, and I'm, I'm rebuilding my life. And I'm helping as many people as I can along the way. So, so you know, I, I'm. Um, it's it is what it is. I'm just not. I, now, the doctor that owns this house wants me to buy this house, and I'm very excited about that that possibility because I, I think we we may end up being able to buy this here in the in the near to distant future. <laughs> Is that a is that like an oxymoron near to distant future? Anyway, um so like you know, like you've got to be transparent. You got to be real. You got to be real. Greg Crane, how you doing up there in Canada? A eh? truly working hard with a vision will definitely keep you on the straight and narrow. That is the truth right there. David Wheeler, how are you? Um need your help won't take long. No problem. Olin Martin, how are you, man? Olin's a great dude. That guy right there. That guy, he gets the truth out of people for a living. <laughs> I, won't, I won't disclose what you do, but anyway, so. Sorry, I got to eat the taffy. I was transparent. I'm a taffy addict. You know, I go through every day of my life. I, I wake up and and I think. How can I help somebody else today? Chuck, my brother, how you doing, man? Love that dude. Love that dude. So, so Wendy, this is all your fault that I'm sitting here eating taffy on a live stream. Chuck has tagged me in a Twitter post along with Grant Cardone and several other people. Every single day, seven days a week, for at least a year and a half, two years, every single day, every morning I wake up, I think Chuck gets up earlier than me, but I'm up till two o'clock in the morning every night working at least that. But anyway, and there's my, there's my tweet from Chuck. You know, every day I get on phone calls, I get on Zoom meetings every single day of my life, Sawyer, thank you, brother. Sawyer just shared this out. Thank you for sharing. If you can't be transparent with your life, man, you're going to have a miserable existence. I can tell you that. I'm not saying go out and, you know, if you've done really stupid things, which we all have. Anybody that tells you they haven't done anything really, really stupid in their life that they really regret, they'll lie to you about other things, too. Watch out for that person. So, you know, I get on these phone calls and these meetings every single day of my life to help other people. I don't get paid. They're not, they're not paying me. I try to help other people. Now, there are times when I'm talking to people that business opportunities arise. Not every time, not every single person, but there are times when I'm talking to people that business opportunities arise. And when they do, just like I saw that somebody sold a whole bunch of um, this software that in, in, in Vegas recently, like in the last few days, um, that builds funnels. Um, and, and I have that software actually. I've had a subscription to it for a while. I have something way better that's literally like pennies on the dollar compared to that. And it's way better. But I won't turn this into a sales pitch. If you want to know what it is, hit me up afterwards. But anyway, so, you know, I'm, um, I'm so transparent. People think I'm invisible. <laughs> Come on, Leilani. You're not invisible. Leilani shines like a beautiful angel. She is amazing. I love that woman. I I wish we would have been in Vegas together because we um we've we um 
We got a lot of selfies, didn't we? Last time I saw you. But anyway, you know, look, I just was watching Hank Norman's speech and talking about, you know, embracing the craziness, embracing the pain, embracing and, and really, um, Dan, I will block you, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you're welcome to do that on your stream. So anyway, like, and if you go to his link and you like what you see, hit me up so I can sign you up since this is my stream. Anyway, um, you know, at the end of the day, being transparent, being real, being honest, those are very, very difficult things for people to do. In fact, I believe it's one of the biggest issues that, that causes the crumbling of companies. It causes the crumbling of relationships, marriages, and everything else because people are afraid of being judged or they're afraid of, they're afraid of, of, of whatever it is. You know, and maybe it's, maybe it's the programming that your parents, your parents gave you, you know, that, it, you know, always be honest, right? I remember my, my, my stepdad, my mother saying, you better not be lying. You better tell the truth. The truth, it may hurt a little bit, but it's going to hurt a lot worse if you don't. And so I'd tell the truth and man, that shit hurt. I was like, what, <laughs> what? But you said it wasn't going to hurt as much. That hurt pretty bad. Like, okay. So then, like, you get programmed to start telling these little, like, oh, wait a minute. You know, I don't need to tell them all that, you know. But I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm I'm so, I, I, I just, I, I believe in being transparent. I, I believe in, in, in really being real. Like, really being truthful. Really being honest. Really being open and and you know, not not I I see people you know out there roasting other people that did them wrong, or they you know talk about them and all. I, like no, that's not what I mean. Don't don't go out publicly and roast people. It's not. It, it, first off, it's very classless thing to do. Um, you know. Second, look if somebody's if somebody's talking smack about you, the way I always see it is if they're talking smack about me that means they're leaving somebody else alone. And, and I got, I got some shoulders. I can handle it. You know, don't, don't go picking on people, man. Just ain't worth it. So, um, I'm glad I wasn't in Vegas. So I, I, I'm missing a couple of teeth. I heard that some people got made fun of for that. Glad I wasn't there. So, um, you know, listen, just, um, just know that, uh, <laughs> I, I know you guys know what I'm, some of you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking of classless, but anyway, so look, um, I think that, you know, you just gotta be, be grateful for where you are. I was going to make a post earlier today. See, this is the problem. When I, when I eat taffy, my brain goes crazy. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I just got I just got a message from Richard Trevino. You guys need to all unfollow Richard Trevino. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even take it. I always say if people are talking about me, at least they're focused on something half decent. <laughs> That's right. All right, there's Richard. Everybody unfollow him. <laughs> Oh my God, that's funny, dude. All right, so listen. Hey, Dale Childress, what's up, my brother? How you doing, man? So, so listen, just, you know, like, like be real, man. Be real with your life. Be real with your existence, man. You don't have to hide behind your anything. Just go be real. Be, be yourself. Quit trying to convince the world that you're something you're not. If you're weak, admit it. You know what? There's an unbelievable book, an unbelievable book. I've read it two times. I love you too, brother. I've read it two times. It's called Power Versus Force, written by, um, I think it's David R. Hawkins. And it is an amazing book. 
you know, and, and there's, it's so, it's a very, very deep book, very deep. And it's on the study of muscle testing, kinesiology, or kinesiology, if you're from Texas. Um, but it is a freaking unbelievable book. And, you know, we're all actually walking lie detectors. You ever, you ever talk to somebody and like you're, you're listening to them and, and Greg, are you leaving, dude? You're, you're listening to them and, and, and all of a sudden you're like, they're not being truthful. And you know it in your heart, not because they said something that was blatantly obvious, but you just felt it. Hey, Brad French, how are you? You just felt it. You felt that like, like, like you just knew they, they weren't being, that's, that's your, that's the human spirit. That's your spirit. That's the energy. The, you know, every word you speak, every action you take, everything that you do has an energy behind it and, and, and in front of it and around it. And, and when you are, <laughs> dude, dude, uh, dude, I'm lactose intolerant too. And I freaking love Grater's ice cream. Oh my gosh, that's funny. What's up, Tony Stone, dude? <laughs> that is funny. Oh gosh, I don't know. Anyway, so um, like, you know, you're always putting out an energy, man. There's this energy constantly surrounding you. So you got to take responsibility for your energy. You got to take responsibility for for all of that. And you got to, you know, push push forward and say, okay, look, if I'm, if I'm responsible for my energy and I, I'm going to, and people are literally able to detect your lies. If you're telling lies, they're able to detect it. Like if things aren't going right in your life, don't get on Facebook and, and flip out your, your hundred. Oh, see, that's a $10 bill. Don't flip out your $10 bills and act like you're a baller. If you're not like, don't do that. Just be real. Like stuff, like, look, if you're not a baller, keep it real. Don't try to pretend like you're something you're not. <laughs> Let's hope Greg doesn't go like, oh Lord. So stay, that's right. Exactly, Leilani. You got to stay in that high vibrational level. You got to, you got to put out the right vibe, man. If you're not legit, quit acting like you're legit. Like give up the lies. Read that book, Power Versus Force. I shouldn't count my ones. <laughs> Dude, I'll count my ones right now. Okay, I have a 10, one. I only have like $15 on, on me in cash. So like, you know, like it's not even about like, yeah, dude, just by being able to say I'm no baller is makes you a baller, dude. Like you, you don't like, you know, just because there's people out in the world that can flip out hundreds or thousands or millions of dollars and count them in front of you does not make that person a baller. Money does not buy class. It doesn't buy class. It does not buy class. I live in a freaking unbelievable house. I mean an unbelievable home. That doesn't buy class. That doesn't mean, oh, Look at Ken's house. He must be a classy dude. No, that has nothing to do with it. The car that I drive, there's number of zeros in my bank account after the comma. None of that matters. That's not where class comes from. Class comes from what you're grateful for. It comes from who you can help and what you're doing for the world. Seriously, it really, truly, like I love seeing these I, and, and I'm not going to call any, I would never call anybody out by name ever, but I, you know, there's plenty of these young millennials, no offense at all. Please don't take offense if you're a young millennial, but is there a comma? Right. But I mean, these kids are out here, you know, renting Lamborghinis and renting Ferraris and renting all this crap and they're, or, or worse than that, they're buying them. Like, I just bought me a Lamborghini. Dude, you live in a trailer. 
and you bought a Lamborghini. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? That's crazy. So, so you know, instead of instead of trying to put on a front, because people see it. People see that. They get it. They know you're full of crap. Quit putting on the front. I'm not saying that, hey, if you're, you know, if you're, I'm sorry, I'm eating some more. I'm, I'm a taffy addict. I'm not saying that if you're, if you're, you know, <laughs> Wes, Wes, don't be showing off your new horse and buggy on Facebook, bro. Come on, man. What's up, Robert C. Stern? I'm not saying that, like, hey, if things are really, really bad, don't go on Facebook. And, and, and we've all seen those videos, too, of people begging and pleading. I mean, just figure out, figure out what you can do to make some money. And if you don't know how to make some money fast, hit me up. I'll show you a way to make some freaking big money fast. And, you know, so don't get it. Don't get on a, a Facebook live. I've seen those people on Facebook live that sit and, and, and cry and, and, and say that they're, you know, I mean, look, if you, if you're in an emergency situation and you can prove it to me, I'm telling you, I would help just about anybody. And I don't mean I'm going to send you thousands of dollars. I'll buy I'll buy you a, a a Burger King gift card or something. I do that for homeless people all the time. It's funny how many of them don't want it. <laughs> like, dude, I'm buying you a meal. You don't want a gift card from Burger King? Nah, man, I need some money. Come on, man, you need some food. I'll get you some food. Let's go. You know. But hey, like, and I'm not again. That's their path, man. That's their path. You gotta. You got to, you know, let people, you know, let people walk their path. Don't judge them. And I'm not judging people that are, that are renting or buying Lamborghinis that can't afford them. I'm not, I, I mean, I live in, a, in an amazing home and I drive a 2014 Ford Fusion. It is a turbo. But it's a Ford Fusion. I'm not fronting. Now, the cardiologist that lives across the street from me, he's got a big old Lexus. It's a beautiful car. But, you know, like, listen, you love people where they are, even if they're stupid. Right. Hey, dude, my my uh, my little turbo is a quick little car. But, you know, like, you got to just, I don't know, man. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. The value of transparency is what I what I called this. But you know, like you've got you've got to just be real. Like be real. A homeless man. Yeah, I, I saw that, David. I saw that somewhere. I saw, it was on 60 Minutes or something. But yeah, and and you know, so look, just be real. Don't don't be fake. Don't be, you know, putting on a front that you're some tough guy when you're actually afraid of your own damn shadow. Don't be, don't be out there telling the world how freaking awesome you are. If you're awesome, the world's going to know it. You don't have to tell them how freaking awesome you are. You know, there's a, there's a, um, I forget where I read this, but you know, people that, um, talk about, you know, how, how, how much humility they have. Pain now, pleasure later, or pleasure now, pain later. That's right. Exactly that. Shelly, you're right. Relationship marketing. But, you know, when somebody starts talking about their humility or how humble they are, run. Seriously, run. Because that's not real. If they have to talk about it, they don't have it. They don't have it. So, you know, the truly enlightened individual has no idea that they're enlightened. They have no idea. So, you know, look, just be transparent, be real. And then someday you'll have a good friend named Wendy. Wendy Four. That will leave her home. I won't tell him where you live, Wendy but will leave her home 
and drive all the way to Florida just for you. And then mail you a box of taffy that she picked up for you. She was in Florida for other reasons. But she thought of me, and that was incredible. That touches my heart, and I really mean that. Wes, good night, brother. Love you, man. So, look, keep it real, man. I mean, really real. Not this fake real that everybody's out there, you know. I mean, really keep it real. Keep it real. Be transparent with people. Quit trying to hide who you really are. Wendy, you're sweet. Thank you so much. I'm going to be up all night eating taffy, so thank you for that, too. <laughs> anyway, so look, I um, I just wanted to hop on and say hey to everybody. I wanted to, to talk about, I love Hank Norman. The dude is just, he's just, he's a badass. I love that dude. And, and the way that he's just like real, he's real. And, and, and by the way, let me tell you a quick story about Carrie Kasem, who she, um, she spoke at the 10 X growth conference this year. Um, she was in my car last year and I said, Hey, I'm, I'm picking you up. Sorry. It's nothing super fancy. Um, she gets in the car and her business partner, um, Lisa gets in and, and, uh, I, I look over at and I'm like, I have Carrie Kasem in my dang car that she flew in from from um, from Beverly or from Los Angeles to meet with me. And I'm like, I can't believe I have like, you know, Casey Kasem's daughter, Carrie, if you guys don't know who she is, she's amazing. This woman is absolutely amazing. And I look over at her and I said, sorry, I'm not driving like a Benz or Bentley or something to pick you up. And she goes, what are you talking about? <laughs> And I go, well, I mean, I'm just in a Ford Fusion. She goes, this is what my boyfriend drives. And I go, oh. <laughs> so, like, you you know, like, we judge ourselves and we, we talk bad to ourselves about ourselves when other people don't even care. You know, and that's the thing. I, I, you know, people aren't really thinking about us as much as we think they're thinking about us. They're thinking about themselves. Because that's just human nature. You know, sure, they may, may stop and think for a moment. Well, I wonder how Ken's doing. And then they, their, their cell phone rings, and they're no longer thinking about Ken. Or they're driving down the road, and they think, I wonder how Ken is doing. And then, then you know, the, somebody tries to cut them off or cuts them off, or they see a, 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 an eagle fly by or something, then... They're no longer thinking about Ken. It's a fleeting moment that people may think about you. They're not thinking about, like, Car Carrie was so freaking, she's so awesome. And she was like, no, nah, dude, this is, this is freaking, this is a great car. What are you talking about? You know, and here I was feeling all self-conscious about it. And that's just dumb. It's not necessary. So, look, be transparent. I, and I, by the way, I've owned four different Mercedes. I'm good with what I have. <laughs> I am. And I'm good with the payment on it. I don't have to worry about some crazy Mercedes payment. So, you know, hey, when the day comes that I can, um, when I can, when I can just write a check for, for the, the, uh, uh, what, I mean, whatever, man, I don't even know that I'll ever want that. Things, things, things change, man. You become 50 years old. I'll be 50 here in a couple of months and, and, um, <laughs> we hit a wild hog, <laughs> right? That's it. That's it, dude. Who are you when the only one looking at you is you? That's right, dude. That's when you found who your genuine self is. That's it, man. I mean, that's it. <laughs> Juice cheese, dude. Wild hogs. And I, I heard Richard Trevino was telling me about, like, totaled his Mercedes hitting a wild hog in Texas. What the heck is that all about, man? Florida and Texas, y'all have wild hogs everywhere. We don't have wild hogs here, for the record, in Ohio. So, there's that. So, Ken, this is so timely. We need to talk soon. I'll catch up on that. What's going on? 
Dude, I appreciate you, Owen. Let's yeah, let's catch up, man. You got my number. So so you know, look, I just wanted to come on and talk about. <laughs> you said, "OMG, poor pig." Those things can do some major damage. Poor pig. As like seriously, like, do you eat bacon? You can't say poor pig if you eat bacon. <laughs> I'm sorry. But there, there's some transparency. If you, he's okay, he got up and ran into the woods. I'll bet it damaged your vehicle, but we have buffalo, elk, and deer, right? <laughs> right. Jeez. <laughs> she said, she said, poor pig. Oh. Uh, one leg at a time. That's right, bro. You're right, Greg. You are right, my friend. <laughs> Sawyer. Sawyer. Sounds like Sawyer may have, if he would have been riding with you in the vehicle, Dan, he may have jumped out of the car and chased that pig down. <laughs> like, holy crap, look at that. A whole slab of bacon just ran right into the car. How cool is that? Um, <laughs> I had some pepper, <laughs> some maple syrup with me. Oh my God, that's funny. Oh Lord, have mercy. That's funny, dude. Anyway, so look, I just wanted to hop on and, and, and chat for a minute. Like you just got to be real, man. You got to be real. And, and look, if you genuinely care about other people, that's the other thing, man, is Look, of course I think about myself. We all do. Everybody does. It's not possible to not think about yourself. And if you if you think I'm wrong, I'll I'll pull the old ET thing, you know, where Eric Ta Eric Thomas talks about the the guy taking the the dude out into the um out into the 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 ocean holding his head underwater and 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 the dude's like what are you doing he's like what were you thinking about when you were underwater and he's like you know like dude like if you've never seen that video it is so powerful so powerful man where you know he talks about you know all he, all I could think about is I wanted to breathe I just wanted to breathe he's like when you want success as bad as you wanted that breath while I was holding you underwater, when you want it that bad, then you'll have success. You'll be on your way. And that's it. Like, I, if I held you underwater, you'd be thinking about how to kill me first. Who's going down first? Because it's about self-preservation. It's about self-survival. Self so you got you to gotta remember that people are thinking about them. They really are. But if you gen genuinely care, genuinely care about other people, they'll feel it. They'll know it. They will know it. They'll know if you care about them or not. Because you're emitting, whether you want to or not, you are a walking ball of energy. And people of all walks of life, at least from this planet, those people can feel your energy. They can. So be real, be transparent, and be absolutely amazing. Or at least give it a freaking valiant effort at being amazing. Give it a shot. If you care, you will send Taffy. Right. If you care about me, you will send me Taffy. <laughs> Wendy has my address. <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for jumping on here. I don't feel like it was a great live, but thank you. Um, I, I just, you know, I like to keep it real. I, I really do. And I mean real. I, I, I hate even saying keep it real because um, there's too many people out there that say keep it real that don't. You know, they don't. It's sad to be in that place. I'd hate to be that person. Anyway, you guys have an unbelievably amazing night. And I will catch you very soon. Peace.